to sign and he did not disappoint us at all, did he? No, it, it was a game that I think that, that suited him well. I, I mean, I'm, on the goal itself, you know, he just keeps himself moving, keeps his feet right. His first touch is, is, is absolutely perfect. And then the, there was a chance just before this where he, he had to get it off his feet quickly and he realized if I get a chance like that, I'll have to make more of it, and, and he certainly did. Yeah, what's so good about his game is his pass and move. I mean, we're going to have a look at the second goal here from Ramos, which is also really well taken. That was the period in the game when Hamburg switched off and Ramos done ever so well. It's just, you know, the body movement's good and he's getting into his feet. No chance here for Adler, makes it 2-0. By that point, now it's easy to say that the game was already over. Thomas, you make a great point right there about Hamburg switching off. You've seen Hamburg coming back out early after their team talk, and then all of a sudden they give away possession of the ball in midfield and then put themselves into even more trouble with a red card. I don't know what Ostrolik was thinking there. I mean, he gets his team in trouble, he gets Adler in trouble. I mean, the referee was thinking about it, should I book him or send him off in the end? He was talking to the linesman. And he said, OK, send him off and, and made it even worse. Bad decision or do you agree with that? Well, right? I said it's a bit harsh, you know, because there's two, it's two defenders still behind them. Um, and that's why it's a bit harsh. I disagree with both of you. I thought he deserved to get sent off in that match. 86 minutes in, Adrian Ramos picks up his seventh goal. Nice finish. Yeah, just in the right spot. You know, I was kind of hoping that that would have carried him over to the, the right and then Pulisic would have got his full stick. We got his second, but uh, that wouldn't be the case.